Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? I'm so happy to see you again. Welcome back to Casa Art Class. Our lesson today is called Opposites Are Interesting. For today's lesson, you will need a graphite pencil, an eraser, some colored pencils, and some markers. Our lesson today is about contrast. Contrast is created by using elements that conflict with one another. Often, it is created using complementary colors like orange and blue, yellow and violet, and red and green or extremely light and extremely dark values. It is used to make a painting more visually interesting. This is Pretty Flies, an illustration by Timothy Banks done in 2011. Do you see complementary colors that are painted next to each other? Which one stands out? Banks chose reddish-orange hair next to blue-green to help you notice his center of interest, the girl, first. This is called color contrast. Do you see a really light area next to a really dark area? Which area stands out? The very light blue-green next to a near-black version of the color helps enhance how noticeable the girl is. This is called tonal contrast. The project today is called Standout Forest. Alright, let's get started. With your graphite pencil, draw a horizon line. Starting at the bottom of the page, draw a large leafless tree with two branches touching the top left and right sides of the page. From those two branches, draw Y-shaped branches that either end at the edge of the page or another branch. Starting halfway between the bottom of the page and the horizon line, draw smaller trees with two branches. Have the branches of these trees touch the bottom branches of the first tree. From those branches, draw Y-branches that end either at the edge of the page or another branch. Starting near the horizon line, draw your smallest trees with two branches touching the bottom branches of the other trees. No Y branches this time. Now with coloring pencils, color the sky and ground in cool colors. Do not color over the trees. If you place the trees correctly, it should look like the trees are getting further and further away from you. We did this to create, to follow the first rule of perspective. The farther away something is, the smaller it looks. Remember when you're coloring, try to color evenly. Color all the way up to your lines and do not go past your lines. Now with a black marker, color the tree trunks and branches. This creates tonal contrast. We'll have some nice dark tree trunks against the very light background.
with warm color markers. That are, those are oranges, reds, and yellows. Color the space inside every branch. This will create color contrast. Since the sky and ground are cool colors, the warm colors will stand out against them. Once you're finished, sign your name. Thank you, my friends, for joining Casa Art Class. Merci beaucoup. I hope you had fun. Remember to take care of yourselves and your family, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.